Hey boys, Clappy here. Vegans, what's up with that? Vegans have been shit on since they came about, sometimes playfully and sometimes maliciously. How many of you remember Vegan Gains, a story of a man blinded by his own ego who negatively impacted the community he swore to protect? A story seemingly mimicked by today's equivalent, that vegan teacher. Katie, or as I and the vast majority of people refer to her as that vegan teacher, is sometimes infamous for falling under the epidemic of clout chasing. That vegan teacher has been a prominent figure on the app TikTok for the large part of this year. She started gaining popularity by making songs directed at fast food chains for selling products containing animal products. These songs were clowned upon for their lack of quality and obnoxious sound. Before we begin to delve into the rabbit hole of how that vegan teacher took over the internet for a small time, I must preface with how I am an ally to veganism and its ideals. I myself am not a vegan, although I will staunchly defend anyone who chooses to put their health and environmental issues before their pleasure. Where I find my grievance is how she chooses to instill these values in any person she encounters. One of her favourite ways of doing this is picking a trending content creator and duetting them on TikTok. One of her first times using this was with a Minecraft YouTuber, Tommy Innit. Tommy posted a pretty simple TikTok, which, from what I know, is similar to what his other content was like. I'll just play it now. I'm at college and surrounded by women. For some unbeknown reason, that vegan teacher made the decision to respond with this with something unrelated, where she tries to convince Tommy that he should search for a vegan girlfriend. I'll just I'll let you have a look for yourself, it's mad. Don't be scared, Tommy. Just follow that meat teacher, Miss Tofu. She'll help you find a nice vegan girl who will teach you what to do. It seemed pretty clear to me that she did this for nothing besides attention and the start controversy. The video had nothing to do with veganism and she had to manipulate the story in order to push her agenda. This could have been any TikTok. Well, hello random man on TikTok dancing. I don't think you would be dancing if you knew about and then proceeds to ramble about something no one asked her to. And let me tell you, she is extremely good at rambling. Now of course, since we are dealing with Minecraft YouTubers, we must deal with the Minecraft community. In response to the rise in popularity of this TikTok, she made another TikTok addressing Tommy Init fans. Init fans, what the fuck is the matter with you guys? You're losing your minds. I saw some of the duets that you guys did to that little 15 second video I did for him. You know the one where I was just trying to encourage him to become vegan? What the fuck are you guys doing? Some of you are crying. Some of you are punching the camera, going fucking crazy. You're like, fuck off, stay away from Tommy. You know, he's at college. I'm a teacher. I'm allowed to talk to him. <laughs> yeah, no, your intention was not to educate Tommy. They were to write off of Tommy's success to garner more attention. Otherwise, you would actually say something either educational or to people who would care to listen. I can imagine being constantly harassed by fans of a Minecraft YouTuber would be upsetting, but there's no need to lie now. You know what you should be crying about? The rape, the torture, and the murder on all of your plates. What? No one should be crying over the food on their plate. I don't care how vegan you are, crying is not a normal reaction to have to a slice of meat. Not to mention how what other people determine as unethical and ethical is none of your business. If someone wants to choose to not care about eating meat, then they have the free reign to. You've never been through any wars, you've never suffered, you have no fucking idea about the world. If that's gonna make you cry, God help the next generation. You guys are fucked up. Seriously. Get your priorities straight. You have never been involved in a war. You have no right to say something like that. We are talking about eating meat. This is not comparable to war. You're fucking delusional to believe they're at all similar. If this quote-unquote drama wasn't bizarre enough, that vegan teacher got involved in obsessing over a different celebrity. None other than Gordon Ramsay. That vegan teacher took aim at Gordon Ramsay by using the exact same song made for McDonald's, but replaced the name with Gordon Ramsay, of course. In classic Gordon Ramsay fashion, he responded to the TikTok with this. Eating animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Hurting animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Share their song. And if you call me a donut, that's fine. Vegan donut. Who would have thought that in the world we live in today, we would see these two interact with each other? Now, that vegan teacher took offense to this, 
and continued to spend a lot of her time creating video after video about Gordon Ramsay, to the point of pure obsession and lunacy. Who has 15 million followers here on TikTok. And I'm going to speak to you directly, Gordon. So Gordon, one of the problems that I noticed that you have is you don't seem to understand the difference between food and animals. So food is something that you get out of the ground or you take it from a tree. It is something that doesn't have feelings and it's something that's very healthy for us to eat. Now animals are alive. They are sentient beings like us, like chickens and cows, sheep, pigs. You know, these things are not actually foods. Yet another irrelevant TikTok. This opinion has nothing to do with Gordon Ramsay. It's only correlation being that you said it was directed towards Gordon. Not only that, but it's an opinion that doesn't make sense. Food is just nutrients that we eat. Like it or not, animals are food. It feels like you just made this up as fast as you could to ride on the drama between you and Gordon fucking Ramsay. She has gotten to the position she's at by being the biggest nuisance he could be. She's attacked people like George Not Found as well. George made a TikTok, which is just him begging for likes. It's not a TikTok I like. It just feels like he's harvesting likes from his very obsessive audience without any sort of joke or anything to laugh at. But that vegan teacher accused George of being totally complacent in, and I quote, the rape, torture, and murder of innocent animals. It just feels like that vegan teacher has a checklist where she crosses off popular YouTubers to annoy. She says dream more than anyone else to push her agenda, but she can't even do that. That vegan teacher gives an awful image to all vegans because she's an awful person. She's belittled the LGBTQ community, saying that being gay is selfish, and said coming out as a pro-vegan should be what is praised. Multiple times has she mocked someone who said that their friends died because of veganism. Now, for the reliability of that, I have my doubts, but when you're supposed to be a representative for veganism, you ruin the very thing you stand for by attacking people. You publicly show comments from people where you tell them that they're lying to themselves and need to go vegan now. Instead of providing information, you constantly demand people to turn veganism, which does nothing but turn people off. You give the impression that you cannot stand anybody who isn't vegan. You've compared people you don't like because they aren't vegan, like Gordon Ramsay, to Hitler or the devil, or tell people to change their religion because you want them to. You often have fits where you scream or come off as extremely unhinged. I get the feeling that her views have corrupted her entire personality, leaving behind a bitter and narcissistic former elementary teacher. I have no idea what that vegan teacher will do next. She just seems to attack whoever she sees fit. And something tells me that she has learned of channels such as mine, and she has responded to various channels giving them another video to make, and therefore she gets more attention. However unlikely, there's a chance that she could respond to me, and try as I might to understand that talking about her only gives the attention she wants. This behaviour needs to be called out. People like her forget that we will get bored, and she'll become a past memory to joke about. A time that appeared, just as fast as it will leave. The end of that vegan teacher. Thanks for watching guys. I understand that a lot of people have covered this topic before me. Again, this was just another interesting topic I've watched progress. Anyway, that's enough for today. I'll see you losers next time. Bye.